Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina. I am back today with the replacement of my Dooney and Burke pink Toby tote. If you saw the video that I posted last week, you saw that I received a Toby tote in the um, lambskin leather it, that was a bit wrinkled pretty severely in the front. I feel like it wasn't just a regular, it wasn't a wrinkle from the bag being folded. I feel like that's just the, that was the part of the leather that was used. Um, so it was kind of like an imperfect piece of leather. And that might have been why it was being sold, you know, via the ilovedooney.com website, which is Dooney's outlet. Um, site essentially so that could have been it but I took a chance I, I, I really wanted to keep it because I love the color of that bag and um, I wanted to keep it but I, every time I just kept looking at that big wrinkle across the front it just made me cringe and it's I mean I don't know why it's that big of a deal but I decided to take a chance and get a replacement bag in the same color same style and see if I somehow end up getting one that's not as bad as that one was. And really, this time is it. Whatever I get this time, I mean, unless there's something severely wrong with it, I'm just going to have to keep it. <laughs> so hopefully there are no wrinkles, no creases, um, no nicks, because there was a couple nicks on the back of the bag as well. And if there happens to be a wrinkle in the leather, hopefully it's on the back side of the bag and not right across the front. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we get. So here is the bag from Dooney and Burke. And that was the back side of the bag. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the box. The box is packaged a lot nicer this time. I don't know if you remember, but the last box was kind of in a poor condition, the, just the state of the box itself. And I'm sure that has nothing to do with Dooney. It's probably, you know, UPS probably had a bunch of other stuff on top of it, and so they, I don't know, but it was, um, it was not taped well, and the box was actually ripped on the side. Okay, so there it is. Let's hope to God this one's better. Okay, so, so far, so good. <laughs> and I apologize. The lighting right now is not so good in here. Not that it's ever that great. Sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's just not that great. But um, hopefully it is good enough for us to see the bag. So it's, you know, packaged nicely as it typically is. You guys, I think we have a winner. I see one scratch on the Vaquetta leather, um, but it's not a big deal because the other one had the same kind of scratch, actually. I don't remember if I showed you guys in the video, but I feel like this piece of leather or the pieces of leather that were used on this particular bag is a vast improvement from the one that I received last time. So far, I see no wrinkles. I see no nicks, and there was actually a part of the bag at the bottom that was um, like thin, unusually thin. Now I, I do remember mentioning that lambskin leather is a more tender leather and it's a little bit more delicate because that's what lends to its softness and um, pliability. It's just really plush and uh, soft leather. So, so far I see zero wrinkles other than obviously the bag was packaged like this. So this, this type of superficial wrinkling is not a big deal. Um, the one that was in the last bag was not that. This is the type that once you stuff or, you know, fill the bag, those will fall out within no time. So same exact bag. And thank goodness, I think we have a winner. The tassels look great, no issues there. Um, the only downfall there, I did take, actually I didn't take any loss at all because um, they, you do have to pay for your own shipping when you return to ilovedooney.com. 
it's not I, I'm so used to Amazon where everything I purchase um, I get a if I need to return something I get a return slip and it's free shipping back but with uh, I love Denny.com you do in fact have to get a return authorization from them and then um, you have to pay for the shipping back so that is what I did but meanwhile um, the bag went on sale for $10 less than what I paid. So essentially it was like an even swap because I paid for shipping to return it. And if I recall correctly, the shipping was like $13 or something. And then for this bag, I paid $10, almost $11 less than what I originally paid for the uh, Toby Tote in the hot pink. So. So I am satisfied, so that's good, uh, happy with that. Okay, so the second unboxing I have for you today is what I would consider an atypical purchase for myself. Don't get me wrong, I love Doonies, but occasionally I you know, look at other brand handbags, although I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> and. I only say that because most of the handbags that I have been purchasing recently are Doonies. As a matter of fact, I really can't remember other than that little, you know, detour I took with that Joy and Iman bag that was the dome satchel that you guys saw, which was a complete fail. And I suspected it was going to be a fail, but I tried it anyway. But anyways, uh, I don't want to get sidetracked. But other than that bag, I think almost every bag that I've purchased in since last summer have has been a Dooney and Burke bag. Bags that I've shown that are other handbags, other brand name bags, have been ones that I've purchased prior to my indoctrination into Dooney. So this is like the first bag, other than that Joy and Iman bag, that I am purchasing that is not a Dooney and Burke. And by the way, this is um, this is a inspired by a designer bag. So it is not the brand of the bag that you're gonna see. It is not a replica because it does not have the name of the brand on the bag. It's not exact. It is exactly what, what it's called, an inspired by bag. And it was purchased from a seller on eBay and I saw a couple of videos um, from YouTubers that purchased this bag from Daily Look and a couple of other websites on the internet. And again, they're all call, calling it an inspired by bag. It is not a replica. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and open it and take a look at it because this is the first time in my life that I am buying an inspired by bag that I could think of anyways. I'm pretty sure I've never done it before. So I don't know what to expect. Most of the reviews that I've seen on YouTube have been pretty good, which is why I took the chance of buying this bag. So without further delay, let me hurry up and get this box open so that you guys can give me your thoughts on it. And of course, I'm very curious myself. Um, it's strange because the seller was listed as a UK seller, but it must have been one of those, must have been like a drop shipment type situation because I see here, first of all, it took forever for me to get it. I placed this order, um, I want to say it was March 22nd or 23rd, one of the, one or the other. And uh, I'm just now getting it today. And today is April 9th. So, okay, so I hope it's going to be good because the picture looked really nice and I haven't seen any other YouTuber with this particular color in this bag, so that's another thing I'm curious about. Um, here's the box and as you can see, well I don't know if you saw it that briefly, but it has Chinese writing on it, so it came from China, so it must have been a drop shipment situation and <laughs> you guys can see through the bag. So this is the Inspired by Celine Mini Luggage. And I, I've always wanted a Celine bag, but there is no way in my current financial situation that I'm going to spend three to four thousand dollars, even two thousand dollars, on a pre-loved Celine. There's, it's just not something that's that important to me to where 
I would even consider spending that kind of money. Now, plenty of people do, and more power to you. It's whatever your priority is. Now, there's plenty of things that I will spend two to four thousand dollars on that are not handbags um, that I don't particularly quote unquote need. So I'm not knocking anybody else if you you know if you do that. I mean, it's basically your your money. You do with it as you please. And you know, the other thing that I, the reason why I like to have multiple handbags, you know, because if you think about it, you add up all the cost of these bags and yeah, you could probably buy one Celine. But to me, I just, variety is the spice of life is what I feel. So I need to have multiple bags because I change my handbag literally several times a week. Once in a blue moon, I might go a week carrying my bag, but I don't think I've ever gone past one week carrying one bag. At least I mean, since I've been in the duty kick, that is. So that's another reason why I can't see myself spending, you know, that much money on just one handbag that I'm going to have to commit to and stick with, you know, for a couple years. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, so anyways, that's my thoughts. If I had $4,000 of disposable income that I had nothing else to do with and I chose to buy, you know, a Louis or a Celine or whatever, then by all means, I will do it as well. I just haven't run across that situation yet. So... <laughs> So this is an inspired by bag. So there it is. I took it out of the plastic and the color was called lavender and it is really cute guys. I really like it. I mean it's a inspired by bag like I said um, but but I I'm I'm kind of feeling this bag y'all. Only thing is, I thought for sure, oh, I was going to say, I thought for sure this had a crossbody uh, strap that I didn't see, but I, I see it now. It's inside the bag. And boy, do they package it nicely. I mean, the handles are all wrapped. They stuffed it on the inside so that you, you know, the bag doesn't come crushed. So let me tell you guys, I paid $58 for this bag, and it was free shipping. This is... Genuine leather, so this is not a uh, pleather or man-made leather or faux, you know, vegan leather, none of that. This is actual genuine leather, and it comes, it has a tag with Chinese writing on it, which I cannot read. There is no, oh, it has the, it looks like yen that I see on there, 1,026 yen. I think that's what that, so that must be the, the Chinese price tag. Anyways, inside looks like this. It's just black. I wish it wasn't black. Some of the ones I saw reviews on, they were complaining that the interior was pink, a bright pink, and that they didn't like that. Um, I personally like brighter interiors. I don't like black. But the YouTubers that I saw, actually most of them were saying that they wish that it was just black and not pink. They thought it made it look cheap or something. I don't know. I prefer a brighter interior. Um, and the interior is not cloth. It's like, um, it's exactly that same material. I don't know if any of you guys own the Eva satchel from Dooney and & Burke. And that's the only Dooney that I know of that I've seen that has that vinyl interior, the red vinyl interior, instead of the, um, instead of the typical red twill interior. So I, this is like that material. It's like, it feels like vinyl and it's black. It's got the sli two slip pockets on one side, the cell phone, typical smaller pocket, and then a slightly larger slip pocket. And then it has a zippered compartment uh, on the other side. So, well, there, there it is. Okay, let me see. This is the crossbody strap that came with it. I really am liking this color a lot. And the leather feels really nice. It's, it basically feels like the pebbled um, Dylan leather from the Dooney and Burke. As a matter of fact, it feels like my Chelsea shopper. It's a little bit more stiff and structured just because of the way that they have you know, designed the bag, obviously, but as far as the feeling of the actual leather itself, it, it I'm sure will soften over time, but it has that exact feel of the Dylan leather from Dooney and Burke. So there is the long crossbody strap, which is adjustable. 
all of the metal is a gunmetal um, color and the hardware is very durable looking this is a dog leash type uh, you know clip on crossbody strap that you could remove or add all the edging is finished in like that you know the black rubberized um, texture and that goes for all of the edging across the leather wherever there's you know a, a seam and I I love it y'all <laughs> I absolutely love it I think it's cute um, no it is not a Celine and that's okay with me and it doesn't say anywhere on this bag that it is a Celine so I'm not trying to act as if um, but I I love the bag itself I love the design so I don't know it smells it smells like leather <laughs> it is definitely leather for certain um, I am satisfied uh, $58 yes it took a little longer to get here but as far as the design of the bag and the way it looks I absolutely love it so hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know what you think okay I will talk to you guys later bye